Hey, welcome back to the ABC Network YouTube channel. My name is Dobias van Ingen, and my last video I made was around an Airwave API tutorial. Uh, just as a, as a beginning, how can you connect, how you can use Python in order to create some kind of your own application for that. But I promise that I made a series of tutorials. I'm not sure how many tutorials I'm going to make, but at least I'm going to make three. So in the first one, I said, how can you connect to it with curl? How can you connect to it with Python in order to do some more serious stuff or to use some of the data inside the Airwave database? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Postman. And Postman is a, is a graphical communication tool. It is an extension within Google Chrome. You can use it on Mac, you can use it on Linux and on Windows. And the tool can be used in order to test or able to uh, do communication with APIs. And then you can save the queries you do, you can share them, etc. It's a really nice extension. And I think it is a very... Um, a very, uh, very popular and very good tool in order to communicate and see what's going on within APIs. Then, a couple of things, because if you start to use Postman and you want to use it in, in a demo infrastructure, you know, it is very easy to allow ignoring SSL's errors. But due to all the recent changes in security and in browsers uh, regarding some SSL vulnerabilities, I will add some links in the... Um, in the um, uh, in, in this section, uh, so in order to make sure that you can see how you can ignore SSL errors uh, in combination with Postman, because that has been changed in some of the latest versions. Then another thing I'm going to do, normally the Postman, because it is a browser extension, it's going to use um, the cookies from the browser if you are allowed to communicate with the API. And I think it is always good to have visibility, in particular if you do some testing, so there is something it's called uh, interceptor for Google for for uh, for cookies. Um, default. So as said, default you're using the browser, so the normal behavior of the browser. And with the interceptor extension, you can overcome this. So also for this one, I add a link. That's a very good blog that describes you how you can uh, add the interceptor, and then I will briefly show you where you can enable and disable it in in my postman. So, so uh, the other thing is, is of course, uh, go, uh, curl. And I'm also going to use, show you how you can uh, import curl calls you already are doing maybe, or you're going to do in the in the in the in the future. How you can import them within Postman. So these are the couple of things, uh, a couple of remarks I want to show you. So let's get started. So let me close this one up because here you can see that the Airwave API tutorial one on our ABC networking YouTube channel. So this will be tutorial two. So I have an Airwave server here. It's running on my laptops in a, in a virtual machine. And this is the, um, uh, this is just a dashboard. One in very, very important thing, and I will remember this, everybody constantly, is the documentation section here, in particular if you want to do something with the API. So go to documentation, and you can see here interfacing with AMP, and a very important one, I'm opening is this one. As you can see, if the API guide, uh, they're split into query, search, and report APIs. So for example, you can click on them, and you can see what an API should look like. Very important one. So let's kick off. Uh, let's kick off the app Postman. And here, Postman is starting. And I already have some. Um, some Airwave requests because I have a specific folder for Airwave made doing this. And you can open it up. And you can see what kind of queries are even here. So, of course, we need to start with a login. Authorization. That's different if you're using normal uh, APIs. Airwave is using it a little bit different. If you're looking at tutorial one, you can see that I'm constantly using the minus D. So, in the header is nothing, but in the body request, it is a XWW form URL encoded one. And you can see that the credential zero is coming back here. Credential one is coming back. The destination and the logon. And that's the important one. So this one will make sure you can log on. I'll show you it in a minute. And here you can see that I have the in, in, inceptor and I can turn it off or on. But I want to have it on because I want to show you the outcome of it. So let me, um, it's a post. It's going to this request. So let me send this. And then here you can see... Um, 
all the outcome you get back um, and you can see the cookies here that I received so you only see this when you have the inceptor turned on and here you can see some headers you can also see the expiscotti header that is being used if you want to push something to this uh, to this uh, uh, to this API okay so that's being done and this is important is that you um, uh, when you look in the body this is the important section that you want to make sure you do this so if I am authenticated I can also um, get some API request here I can open that one up in the builder and I can get some information you can see that get API detail uh, oh, I don't have it running up here get API detail and then in the headers there's nothing but we're just going to do a get to this particular request because we already are authenticated and have the cookie so send all the info and you can see top folders all the information is coming back here so that's a very handy way to test different kind of APLs so let me give you another example is if you want to import for example an already successful curl command so let me get a curl command for you that I can have running I can do import here then you do pass raw text and here is I put my uh, uh, my curl command in I pass my curl command in I do an import and I can see that I have another request here um, part of it that I can do a get I can save it uh, I can do the request name for example amp stats generate from Chrome and I want to put it in my airway uh, filter and save so now I have an amp set let's see if it is working send and I can see that I get all the information uh, out of my uh, my airwave so if you go to the airwave server you can see that there is a lot of information in here that is also mentioned here so that you can see that uh, uh, down wired you can see all kinds of information that you can maybe use in your own kind of environment so this way you can very easily import go command so I hope that I show you how to use Postman because you need to do a little bit of different than a lot of the other APIs that are out there you need to use the raw data uh, let me show you that again to make sure that everybody understands in the body in order to do the authentication you can use the Inceptor but that's not a must but with the Inceptor at least you can see what you see here for example um, if you do a send uh, you can see the cookies that, that you're using if you don't use the Inceptor it will just use the default from the browser and I also showed you a way how you can import uh, already curl commands or maybe you have been testing curl against this API how you can import that in uh, in in your uh, in your postman and using that in order to test functionality you, you can share this between uh, between colleagues or between friends if you want to do your own uh, kind of calculation hope uh, kind of programming or kind of uh, communication with the API hope you like it I will add these links how you can make sure you can uh, you can ignore the SSL errors in your test environment and how to install the Inceptor inside your postman hope you like it hope to see you next time if you like it please leave either some comments or leave a thumbs up then we know that we are on the right track for this kind of videos thank you very much hope to see you next time